7 a.m. on day four of Brentford's pre-season trip to Germany. By now, the first team squad are well aware this is no summer holiday. And this morning, Dean Smith has something special lined up to get the legs moving and the hearts pumping. Go! The first of three sessions in the day, a test of speed, a test of strength, and a test of staying power. Come on, you and dig it in, big push, mate, you're doing well. At least it will work up an appetite for breakfast. Oh, this is horrible. That's a bit cruel, wasn't it? Seven o'clock in the morning for these lads? <laughs> we bit, yeah. Um, I think we'd like to do get out of the routine of uh, uh, when you're on tour, you, you're together an awful lot and you're up and doing the same thing. So it just gets them out of the routine a little bit, a little bit of fun, a little bit of a, a challenge. Um, and have them moaning at me for a few hours as well. <sighs> We were just sitting at dinner last night and the uh, gaffer said 7 o'clock start and we all sort of had a laugh like, yeah, are you, are you serious? Uh, come down here, had a little circuit to do, a um, bit of a competition as well, so made it interesting. Um, chest burner as well, so I imagine they got everything they wanted out of it. This is midway through Brentford's week-long stay in Marienfeld, an hour's drive from Dortmund. Once a monastery, now a sporting retreat with everything a team needs to prepare for the season ahead. Portugal used it as a World Cup base in 2006. The walls adorned with pictures of its many illustrious guests. If it's good enough for them, it'll do for Brentford. We had it sourced, obviously a couple of uh, people came out from the football club to have a look and they were really impressed with it. We've been fortunate, we're on our own, we've got two pitches to use. You know, and it's just, it gives you a break, it's a different environment away from the training ground. An ideal location, but a squad of 23 takes some looking after. 15 support staff have made the trip to cater for their every need. With players and coaching staff out on the training pitch three times a day, kit manager Bob Oteng is a busy man. Logistically, you've got to prepare in advance and make sure that you've got everything you need for 30 individuals if they have three sets of training per day. So it's a big operation, so it's not just me. I've got a team that actually put everything together and we make sure it gets out here well in advance of the players. With their off-field concerns taken care of, all the players have to think about is playing football and getting ready for the new season. Every pass, every run, every goal closely monitored. To get the team together, you get to know the players a lot more. You get to spend time between sessions, so you can train in the morning, you can have a break in the afternoon, but you can have individual meetings with the players. The coaches will do that, the performance side will do that, the medical guys will get the, their hands on as well, so we can get a lot more input from all departments during that time. It's eat, sleep and breathe football for these players while they're here. What little spare time there is, they make the most of. Yes! <laughs> Big dog! Uh, 15 pounds, common carp. <laughs> German common carp. Never had a carp in Germany before. Have you fished in Germany before? Never. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Last year, I say we didn't feel we were probably hitting the ground running at the start of the season. A lot of changes. And um, so this year, we're looking to right them wrongs and like say, hopefully get on the front foot. When you're in the pre season, you, you sort of come out on the other side you need to rest a little bit just a couple of days before you really feel refreshed again and that's that's what um, I'm expecting from from this trip and from this preseason that will work really hard and then once the the, the first game holders feel the way starts will be 100% being 100% means being match fit a fixture with German side VFL Bochum a chance to brush up and a chance for 50 or so dedicated bees fans to see their team play in Europe. I'm just looking to see how the players are getting on. Like, um, how, like the new boys that I haven't seen. Obviously, uh, a few of the kids that I've got high hopes for. I'm hoping to see the style of football that we'll be playing next season. Um, quite an open attacking style. Uh, the new players involved again. Um, uh, hope to see a few goals as well. 18 members of the squad featured, including new goalkeeper Daniel Bentley, the travelling fans wanted goals, well, they got one, scored by Scott Hogan. Enough for a hard-fought win. A lot to work with, but really pleased where the players are at this moment in time. And, uh, you know, it's not about these games today. This is about the fitness side of it and, and getting used to, to playing football again. The victory a welcome bonus to a week of hard work. Roger Clark, Sky Sports.